and just jabs it in there and it always is super painful. I like to just take this secret 12 instead. And I do have another review too. This is from InfoWarsLife.com. This is by far the best vitamin B supplement I've ever tried. My mood and metabolism improve markedly when I take it. In my opinion, this Winter Sun and Survival Shield X2 are the holy trinity for health supplements on a daily regimen. I have tried many products, many different supplements and combos thereof in the past, and these are the only products that truly deliver what they claim to. It's, it's true. And see, folks, notice how we're into all sorts of weird stuff and how we research everything. I wanted to come out with the most game-changing, hardcore stuff out there. And that's what we've done. That's why it's taken yeah. us three-plus years to come out with a handful of products because we've probably got, what, 10 different products in development that we just can't put out because we can't put it out perfectly. And all our competitors are putting out stuff that's pretty good but not perfect or really bad. Yeah. And, and then I'm just, like, sitting here going, do we just put out something that isn't perfect because it's better than nothing. And you always I mean, that. are we too good? But then we always end up putting out something that's perfect every time. It's always it's always it's always like, well, it'll take six months to do it, but it, this is so much better and we just have to do it. This is what we have to do. But then we can't keep it in stock because it's mm -hmm. so hard to manufacture, because mm -hmm. you can't get absolutely perfect clean. I mean, we've got the lab studies, they're on InfoWarsLife.com from the biggest firms out there, and they they call us and they go, It's one thing to have one deal that's above California standards, non detectable, nothing. Mm hmm but you've got like 10 ingredients. They're all clean. They say this is like Twilight Zone. I mean, we've had them say that. This is Twilight Zone. The ingredients that we pay for that are then put together at these laboratories. I actually remember the chemist said, I'm freaked out. He was freaked out because it was so clean. He didn't even understand how it could possibly be done. But it's because we're neurotic about it and, and obsessive about it and crazy about well, it. Well, let's just say group, even though we use two other manufacturers, group got involved with us from the beginning and he's neurotic. Yes. I mean, he's really obsessed. Like, we had to go with other people because sometimes he just couldn't even find the stuff that we needed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for some of the products, he makes most of the products. Yes. And he always looks at them and makes sure they're good and everything like that. But He triple tests them after they've already been tested by the companies. And then we... Plus, we know we have enemies that are out to get us that are testing our stuff. We have all our batches saved in a big safe. For anybody that ever tries to do a fake test and claim something, we have you. Just, just know that. Because we know we have enemies. We go to an even higher level of testing. Independent third party. <laughs> because no weapon against us shall prosper. You see, we use the attacks to make us even stronger. Thank you. It's like training at altitude. It basically being under attack all the time. I've gotten where I enjoy it. It makes my life fun. I like it, don't you? Not being attacked by 10,000 people a day is like walking around after being on the Himalayans for a couple of years and you go down to the town and you're like, wow, this feels amazing. But you're kind of used to it. You kind of like the altitude. You kind of like the pressure of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. InfoWarsLife.com. I want to thank you all for your support. InfoWarsLife.com. And the silver, uh, I'm not going to allow it to sell out. It'll be months till we get more coil silver in if I keep this special up. So we're going to stop it now so that we have enough to keep supplying folks the regular price over the next uh, two months or so. So that'll end sometime today, maybe tomorrow, whenever we pull it. 30% off a bottle of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver. Or get two bottles, get two free. That's 50% off, ladies and gentlemen. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And what I do is I'll plug once an hour for five minutes or so. Most talk show hosts plug coming into a break, coming out of a break. And then they plug in the middle, and, and I get it. Radio is in trouble. The whole economy is in trouble. Advertising is in trouble with our great, glorious, new world order leader under Cloward and Pivot. Uh, we just do... You know, actually less advertising than most people, but I want to thank you all for your support. You make it all possible. And I also want to thank our AM and FM affiliates. It is essential that you spread the word about all these affiliates. It is essential that you call them and thank them for carrying the show. It is essential uh, that you do things like call them and become a sponsor or pay to put a billboard up plugging their station. That won't save the world, but all of us together will. And finally, we lost Orlando affiliate for about a year because ESPN came in and, and, and you know, they had to make money and, and offered them so much they did it. But then they found the ratings and things went down, so they picked us back up. Um, we have uh, Corpus Christi had us on for like five, six years. ESPN again came in. That's gone. They're putting us back on. So what happens is even affiliates that leave us come back. So we're gaining more stations. It's up like 185 right now. And I want to salute and thank all those affiliates. But folks... Put 50 bucks in an envelope, mail it to them. 
because we need to not just have our station survive, but thrive and pray for them. Hey, good news. Good news in a big way. Anthony Gucciardi and Joe Biggs are going to host an entire fourth hour of the show, not just 30 minutes. Huh. We're kicking this off very soon where every day the fourth hour will be live, but magazine style. And a couple days a week I'll be there. Special reports are going to get aired there. Uh, we're going to have Anthony in, uh, Jakari Jackson, Darren McBreen is going to do a great job hosting live. Uh, we're going to have them all in here hosting live. Every day in the fourth hour, it's going to be like a post-game show. But the newest stuff breaking, what's coming up on the nightly news, because we're going to TV syndication starting in just about a month. In fact, we're already up on the satellite. I haven't really announced all that yet. And I want to bring that fourth hour back. I've already got a contract to pay for the closed captioning for five hours a day, four hours of radio TV with the Alex Jones Live InfoWars Live, whatever you want to call it, the daytime show, and then the Nightly News is one hour. So we're doing it. I'm getting everybody used to it today with kind of like snap war drills. I'm just like, you know what? Gucciardi, Biggs just got back off a plane. David Knight's going on vacation for a week. Uh, Well-deserved. So both these guys are going to be in here taking your phone calls and more. But right now, speaking of our article at DrudgeReport.com, Financial Times calls for abolishing cash. Well, that doesn't mean Johnny Cash songs, uh, but uh, you're on the air. Mr. Cash calling from Missouri. Go ahead. Thank you, Alex. Uh, I've got a question and two statements if you have time. Yes, sir. Uh, the question is, uh, the government, CIA, is the biggest drug dealer, and it uses it to fund the black budget. Well, if the drug dealers don't take credit cards, so if they abolish cash, uh, that would kill their cash cow. And how are the big banks going to launder the drug cash if there is no cash? I've always said that. Why would the big five banks, it was six, be trying to ban cash or restrict cash everywhere when they launder, let's be conservative, the CIA inspector general said $300 billion a year in 97. Now it's about $500 billion a year just in North America alone. I don't, I've thought about that so much it makes my head spin. It's just like when they bring in driverless cars, how are they going to make money on insurance? Well, as they phase humans out driving, they're just going to jack it up on us and then have some type of safety fee. You know, the, 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 the driverless cars are still going to be having crashes and having problems and having malfunctions or it'll go to some innovation fee. I mean, believe me, they got ways to screw us over. And I believe they're just going to quasi outlaw cash but still have that operating and still have debit cards. But the big banks are so above the law now, they're getting to a point where they'll just take credit cards and let drug dealers operate openly, and then they, they'll selectively not get in trouble. I mean, the big banks already launder the drug money and don't get in trouble, so I think that's what's happening. Let me ask you this question. What do you think? How do you think they're going to do that, Cash? Well, I'm not real sure, but I think when you talk about driverless cars, I think they're the other. Stay there, Cash. You held a long time. I want to give you some time straight ahead. Back in 70 seconds. Some stations don't carry the fourth hour because I quit doing it for a while, but it's back. If not, tune this into your same station and support them. The we'll be back for folks at InfoWars.com. Radio, That's right. radio the Network. The whole fourth hour, it's going to be serious. They're going to be taking your calls. They're going to be talking about uh, Joe's experience up there in Virginia at the side of the shooting, breaking it down. Anthony's got more health news. You're welcome to go over all this news I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, right now, we're talking to Cash in Missouri. Cash, you tried to comment on driverless cars. Uh, you Go ahead and make your point on that, sir. Yeah, well, there's uh, this leads in, into that. But first of all, there's a foundation who has developed uh, a free energy technology, which is available for sale, and it's going to start to be shipped worldwide within the next 60 to 90 days. It's called the CashFoundation.org. That's K-E-S-H-E Foundation.org. Uh, they have a, a unit for that's going to cost $500 that will provide three to five kilowatts of energy independently. Hook this into your house system. Hook it into your business system. You know, I've, uh, I mean, I know they've got some cool alternative energy systems that have been suppressed, but I don't know about this group, but I've heard this before over the last 20 years that a group's coming out, a foundation under different names, and they're going to ship it. Have you seen the machine? I mean, ha has it worked for you? I have not seen the machine because it, it's now, they're now taking orders for it. Uh, they're promising to ship it uh, within the next 30 to 60 days, maybe 90 days uh, top. 
uh, but it is available. They are producing it. Uh, the well, I'll have to I'll have to look into that. That's very interesting. What's your take exactly. on What's your take on driverless cars? Well, uh, that is another one of their technologies. They've also uh, are planning to have developed cars that uh, not only uh, are driverless, uh, but they are um, they don't need roads. They, well, they fly. Lift technology. Well, they yeah. have come out actually in the last 50 years with flying cars that are under $80,000. And Australia is looking at actually legalizing them in some areas. And that sounds pretty darn fun. Um, well, you said before that, you know, the current technology that we have today, uh, they had 40, 50 years ago. Oh, yeah. They so had cars 60 like years it. ago that got 50 miles a gallon and didn't have right. any electronics in them. Now they've got exactly. all this electronics well, that can't even do that. Well, what he's taking is, is the the uh, the the, the um, uh, um. you know Tesla has the power cell too, which Tesla. is a really cool thing. You can plug it into your house, and it basically generates massive amounts of power in a preparedness type of way. And uh, Elon Musk presented it a while back. It's pretty interesting, and right, apparently, you can right. have massive. Hey, we should send out a crew to the Elon Musk factory. If they'll let us look at it, and then send one to this guy and investigate. See if it's legitimate. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Good to hear from you, Cash. Cash is a cool name. Uh, let's talk to Jason in Minnesota. You're on the air. And then I'm Anthony's going to be sitting here, and co piloting is going to be Joe Biggs. <laughs> hey, Alex. How you doing? Good, brother. Good to talk um, to you. I'm, uh, I'm stuck in Minnesota with a bunch of liberals like Klobuchar and Frankton, and uh, we got Black Lives Matter coming to the state fair tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow. So I just want to kind of get your take on what, you know, verbiage I could say well, without getting sure. in too much trouble. Sure, well, Rand Paul's because, like, I really know, it, it, I, I think, go ahead, sorry. No, no, it's just Rand Paul's like, I, I support what you're doing to stop people getting killed, but you need to do, you know, go about it better. That's too nice. When a group is racist, out of control, blocking people's cars just because right. they're white. I mean, I think the answer to them without getting into fights is just like, hey, I haven't done anything. Stop pushing this. You're funded by the globalists to create divide and conquer. If you want to go get in somebody's face, go find a Klan rally. Just quit treating me like I've done something because of my skin color. And, and I mean, you know, personally, I need to seek out Black Lives Matter because I want to get in their face. I think it's very arrogant, very idiotic. Uh, but, I mean, that's what I think. I think you should go out there with some friends and videotape it. Exactly. I mean, that's the way I feel. I mean, someone even drove them over when they were blocking the road here. I don't know if you've seen that on the news, but, you know, they ran them over. They're, they're, they're disruptive. They're really arrogant. Well, well it's, because, it's, because they're, they're buying more, into the MSNBC. They're buying into the MSNBC narrative. Listen, don't hang up, Jason, because that's what Joe Biggs wants okay. to talk about is the shooting and the whole Black Lives Matter thing. So we'll come back to you after they talk a while. Then Steve, Adam, and others, 800-259-9231. Tweet, tell your friends, a whole nother hour of live radio. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm Anthony Gucciardi sitting in for Alex Jones, the wing commander, here with Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs. And Joe just got back from going down to Virginia to check out the latest on the shooting, the news shooting. And he's going to share with us what's going on. And we're going to talk about the Pope visiting and how he is aligning himself with Obama. We're going to take calls on Trump, Black Lives Matter, GMOs, trains, whatever that is, oh, so on and so forth. Lots of stuff still to cover throughout this fourth hour, which we will be going through. But Joe, what happened in Virginia when you went to visit and investigate the new shooter? Yeah, so I went out to Virginia to uh, find out what's going on with this new shooting because immediately this tragedy happens. And what happens? The mainstream media, the government, everyone is jumping on this gun control bandwagon, anti-gun. Let's get it. Let's get rid of guns. Let's not hold individuals accountable for what's going on. But now you also have a lot of these people out here saying that it's all a hoax. I went out there, I saw the boards that they had to cut around the bodies, the blood that spewed from the second floor down to the first floor. It was not a hoax. There's a lot of people saying that there's timestamps different on these Twitters. It's so easy to go into Twitter and manipulate a time and then take a screenshot and then post it and make a video and sit back and watch people just nitpick at it. Or the fact that in one video, this guy has a long black sleeve thing on, but then when you see his arm extended, you see blue. Well, that's going to happen whenever with your suit, extend your arm. Exactly. I can see another color 
under there. Voila, it's magic. No, that's what happens when you wear 